to my kitchen in episode three of decluttering my entire home. So far we've gone through my closet and we've gone through our toys. We've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. The next plan of attack is the kitchen. This is probably the worst one. This is the one that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. Dada? You wanna help me clean the kitchen? Mom, can you put lower oh. so yeah. I could see? I I'm trying to find the motivation to get started, <laughs> not finding it. This is going to be a really big job, so I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. It doesn't look bad at a glance. Like, you look at our kitchen, it looks totally fine, but then you start opening up covers and you realize, oh, it's a little bit messy in here, a little bit disorganized things don't make sense. It's been a while since I've decluttered our kitchen. I think the last time I did this was before we renovated. Hi. So it's been a little while and over the course of renovations, things have gotten misplaced, have found different homes. And I've collected a number of things as well since then. Some new appliances like our ice cream machine and things like that. All right, first things first, I think I can get rid of these. My kids never use them. They just end up on the floor. My boys will literally come to the fridge and just shove them all onto the floor. It's time that these get donated. job but it made a huge impact if I am doing a oh dear if I'm working on a project and it feels really big and overwhelming I'll start with something small like that just to get like my foot in the door and then I'll move on to some of the bigger projects so one of the most unorganized areas of the kitchen is the pantry it is a hot mess it's probably the worst it's ever been and I purposely have been avoiding trying to go through it and organize it because I just wanted to save it for this video but it has gotten to a point where it's just it drives me crazy this is a very high traffic space even for the kids like their snacks are on the bottom shelf and you know they help themselves to their snacks but even for me I'm in here constantly all day every day grabbing stuff and in order for the overall function of you know cooking and the kitchen to work well this space needs to be organized so I know where everything is and I can easily find what I need. I did pick up some jars from Ikea that I'm hoping will really help to visually organize the space. But before we get to the pretty fun stuff, first we gotta pull everything out, go through it, toss what's expired. Okay, the pantry is clear. I need to wipe down the crumbs out of there, but everything is here on the counter all the way over here. I see a lot of repeats. I see a lot of stuff that's expired and old and garbage that I now get to go through and throw away. garbage bag full of expired food thrown out and cleared out of our pantry stash so now I need to start going through and putting things in jars. I finally bit the bullet and I bought some jars. I got these ones from Ikea. Hello, I got you marshmallow chicks. Oh. You need one of those jars. I got these ones from Ikea. I wanted something just really easy to open that would seal off something glass, something affordable. I bought a few different jars in different sizes. Clearly you can see I have never been the person to have 
uh, my dry goods in cohesive glass jar containers, but I've always wanted to. I'm hoping this will help with the, the visual clutter, but also to help me keep account of everything that's in my pantry because what I noticed going through all this stuff is that so much of what we have, I have like two, three open bags of the same thing because the bags got lost in the pantry. So I'm hoping just having like one big jar for like rice and orzo noodles and um, quinoa will help me remember that, okay, this jar is for quinoa. This is the only place in the house where we have quinoa. If that jar is empty, that means we're out of quinoa, you know? <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time. self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> He's helping me out now doing all of that. A few hours later and I think we finally got everything organized. Almost all the dry goods are in jars now. Um, I've also divided things up, like I've got a candy basket, I've got an onion basket, I've got like some snack things. I have another set of these Lazy Susans on order for things like canned goods and then like the breakfast spreadables. Um, but I've used the ones I have right now for vinegars and for oils. I also have cereal containers on order. But other than that, this is looking so nice and pretty and so satisfying. There are some things like crackers and croutons and yeast and just like random things that don't really fit into a jar so they're in a basket. And then some snacks like chips and pretzels and then there's some extra things like a little bit of extra icing sugar that didn't fit, oats and you know things that we buy in bulk. That'll just sit in a container and then I'll reach for it when I need it. And then this garbage bag is packaging recyclables. Now I just need to wipe out this pantry and then I can put everything back in. up just like taking the doors off and lowering the shelves so that I could fit some of the taller jars on the top where it's more easy for me to access. So let's do this again. <laughs> good so I've organized this uh, keeping in mind that the kids can reach the bottom two shelves this is kind of my area this is uh, the shelves that are easiest for me to access so on the bottom there's just a few heavy things that needed to be on the bottom but there's the kids snacks that's pretty much all that the bottom is the next one is breakfast items just some noodles and things and and onions and stuff that didn't fit on the other shelves and then some drink mixes shelf number three is all baking goods with the least used items in the back and the most used items in the front and the top shelf is pastas, we've got vinegars, oils, and salad toppings. 
by the end of the day, I had lost all motivation to clean and to pick up the camera, but I really wanted to get the fridge and the freezer done. It was the perfect time to do this because we were low on groceries and in a few days we were about to go grocery shopping. So the most ideal time to clean a fridge is when there's not a lot of food in it. So I pushed through, I made myself do this this evening and as much as I did not maybe love doing it that night, I am so glad that I did because it felt so good to open the fridge the next day, which was a Sunday, and just really feel at ease because it was tidy and it was clean and it was, it was one of those things that was really starting to get on my nerves and bother me and you know, it just, it just feels so nice to have a clean space. A week later, last week we managed to accomplish the pantry, the freezer, and the fridge, which was pretty good. Those were spaces that really, really needed to be organized. Today I'm going to tackle the rest of this kitchen, which means decluttering all of the cupboards. I've been thinking about it this past week, and I know there's a number of items that I can definitely part with, and I've been trying to think about a different way to organize things. Um, in a way that just makes more sense with little kids being able to get into the bottom drawers. The things that I reach for often that are kind of hard for me to reach, trying to move those down, and then other things up, rearrange things just a little bit more so that they make sense in here. I think we're gonna start here above the pantry. There is a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to switch out and change around. This is where we've temporarily stored glasses. Those need to find a new spot. Aprons I wanna hang somewhere and then there's like party supplies, like disposable plates and stuff. Those are gonna go downstairs with the rest of the party supplies. So I have used this spot as like an extension of the pantry. I repurposed these two bins for um, extra dry goods, things that didn't fit into the canisters in the pantry. We do buy a lot in bulk and so, you know, we buy a lot of sugar at once and then it doesn't all fit into the canister. And then this bin is for all of the candy that we have left over from the holidays. And now there's also some extra space in here which is gonna be perfect for our coffee maker. On a day-to-day -day basis, we use our espresso machine, but when we have guests over, it takes all evening to make everyone an espresso. So we use our coffee maker, but it's really, really tall and hard to find a spot to store. This is the perfect spot. And then I'm also going to store the, um, the coffee filters here. Cause I mean, the only time we ever use it is when we use the coffee machine. So then this is all nice and put away and organized. Now moving on to 
this one. So when we renovated our kitchen and we took down the cupboard over there, a lot of the mugs and glasses got just stuffed into wherever they would fit which was here and there. I need to find a better spot for them now that we have like shelving up and the rest of our kitchen kind of finished. This is obviously not a very convenient place because they're hard to reach. And I know there's a number of mugs in here that I can let go of as well. We're actually gonna be donating a lot of glasses and mugs. Everything on this side is gonna be donated and then everything on that side is what we're gonna keep. We obviously have way too many mugs. We never need this many. Um, and then water glasses we really only use when we have guests over, otherwise we're always using our water bottles. And now that this is clear, I can start filling it with something else. This little corner cabinet is a very tricky one. It's hard to get into and the kids can also reach it. So some of my children like to come in here and pull out some of the things they're really not supposed to be playing with. This is kind of where I've stored like my cake stuff, uh, baking, some of my like baking supplies and pans and stuff. So I've got, you know, food coloring and little pieces and fondant tools and just things that little boys should not be playing with. And clearly it's just, you know, become a little bit of a mess. So I would like to transfer all of the stuff up above the fridge where it's out of reach uh, because I honestly, I never reach for this stuff. It's very rare that I need to grab cake stuff, like only on birthdays, really. Having it up and out of the way would be really, really nice. Okay, we've tackled all of this area. We've tackled underneath here. This is still sitting empty. Not sure what I'm putting in there quite yet. Uh, now we're gonna move on to this section. So in here is where I keep my spices. There's also really random stuff up there that needs to come down. I keep my jars up here and some extra plates as well. Those are gonna find a different home. And then here there's like medications, coffee stuff, oils, stuff that isn't really kitchen stuff. One area of our kitchen that is really not working right now is the pot. 
storage. I bought this pot holder a while back thinking this is gonna be absolutely perfect. It's not working. So I'm gonna get rid of that and just figure out a different way of like stacking things. All right, this half of the kitchen is done. Now we need to move on to this half. Uh, all of this still needs to find a home. These are things I'm keeping and everything in these boxes are donations so far. I think the first thing I wanna tackle on this side is this, oh, hmm, that does not belong there. This cabinet, this is our homeschool cabinet. I never fully finished organizing it from the last video, so I'm gonna see if I can figure out something a little bit better. I'm trying to just use what I have, um, but this system doesn't work because obviously everything's on the top shelf and then nothing fits on the bottom. So instead of using this for the crafting bin, I found this bin that I'm just gonna like throw all the crafting stuff in for now until I figure out a better system, but then this will easily slide under here, saving us a lot of room up here. It was around this time I really kind of started to lose steam and motivation, but I was also just trying to get into the zone and get in and get it done. So I stopped taking breaks to talk to the camera and just really started working at it as best I could. I didn't really have a plan for the rest of this either. Like for this side of the kitchen, I didn't have a plan of attack. I was just playing around with things. Um, but I think in the end it turned out really well. Okay, the end is in sight. We're almost done. We just have to go through this little section down here. We need to find a home for the ice cream maker. We also need to find a home for some, like the sourdough stuff because I it used to live up there. I put other stuff up there that just made more sense. So we need to find a new home for the sourdough stuff and go through all of these. gonna see my corner lazy susan which i absolutely love it is so handy and i love storing small countertop appliances here it works really nice because this is a space right next to the sink and a plug so if i need to say make waffles i can pull out the waffle iron 
plug it in right there, use it, put it back. If I want to make ice cream, I can do the same thing. If I want to make a smoothie, I can do the same thing. It's really handy. So this is where I ended up storing the ice cream machine. We've done good. We got three big boxes full of stuff to donate. Like they are tip top full, they're heavy. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy to be getting all of this stuff out of my kitchen. We've been living with the declutter kitchen for a few days now and I can tell you it's been so nice. It's made cooking so much easier. It's made everything so much more functional and just, so nice, like it's so refreshing to open covers and to just see a clean, organized space. I realized at the end of the last day, I kind of just stopped talking to the camera because I was just getting into the zone. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of my declutter kitchen and just show you where things kind of ended up. So you have seen the pantry, but what you haven't yet seen is this. I put some command hooks up on the door so I can hang up my aprons. This is so nice, very easily hidden away too. I really, really love that. All of my baking stuff ended up fitting really nicely up here. It's not like the most organized or nice looking, but it all fits and that's what matters. For the most part, these spice drawers stayed the same, just looks a lot more clean. And then up here, there were like baby bottles and milk bags and stuff, like I don't need that right now. So I put uh, some coffee stuff up there just so they're easier to access. Up here, I just decluttered a few jars that had too many. Um, so I'm keeping the ones that I reach for most commonly and then I'm storing some alcohol glasses up here. We don't drink alcohol very often, but we do have wine glasses and stuff. So this was just the perfect spot to put them. A nice little storage where it's easy to reach, but also kind of up and out of the way. These really did not change much at all. I just kind of organized them a little bit and made them a little bit you know, more tidy. I did declutter a number of cooking utensils. I moved the pots around just a little bit so that they would stack more nicely in here. Without those pot holders in the back, it actually feels like there's so much more room and I was able to store everything very easily in here. In this corner cabinet, this is kind of where the leftovers went. So all the things that just didn't really have a home now sits here, it's a lot emptier. So I've got like a salad bowl, um, some pizza stones, my Dutch oven and some sourdough things as well. The homeschool cabinet just looks a little bit more neat and clean and easy to access as well, but not a whole lot changed there. This looks pretty much the same, but I did declutter some extra like decorative forks and stuff that we just never used. These ones also stayed very much the same, just a little bit more neat and tidy. I do wanna get a storage system for this stuff yet. These two bottom drawers are very easy for the kids to access so I have some of their stuff in here, some of their like kitchen knives and water bottles and then this is where their dishes are stored. It's not as neat and tidy right now as it was before but this is where they come to to grab their dishes on their own. This is where we store our bowls and plates that we access every single day. I ended up also storing our extras for when we have guests over. They were kind of just stored uh, here and there randomly. So I decided just to put everything in one cabinet. This makes so much more sense. This one really didn't change at all. I've just got like some mixing bowls and stuff in there, but this one is so much nicer. So I decluttered some candles that I actually didn't really like the smell of. In here, some candles, some essential oils, matches. And then up here, I have some of my cookbooks. It was really nice to be able to just adjust the shelves according to what height I needed them to be. These ones stayed pretty much the same. I just kind of cleaned them up a little bit and made them a little bit more organized. And then up here is where I ended up storing extra mugs and extra glasses and things like that. And that's where our kitchen is at right now. I am loving how it is and it feels so very good to have this just decluttered and organized and clean. <laughs> if you haven't watched the other two episodes of decluttering my entire home, I'll leave them linked down below. And stay tuned because I'm gonna be continuing to declutter our home room by room. I need to go into the bedrooms yet, into closets. We might even go downstairs into our storage room, which is really, really bad. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.